One of the most common questions that we've gotten over the last five years or so, and especially during the pandemic, a lot of people paying close attention to the trees and shrubs in their landscape. The question is, is my tree in trouble? And, and the answer is sometimes it is and sometimes it isn't. Uh, certainly the drier than average conditions that we've had over the last three years or so have led to this concern and a lot of times trees are in trouble. Uh, I wanna show just a few photos of trees that are experiencing trouble uh, through a variety of conditions. First, I wanna show um, some real responses due to dry weather as well as temperature fluctuations that we've been seeing. And this is a Bradford pear that is struggling with uh, some temperature fluctuations of cold and then warm and warm and then cold, as well as some drought conditions. Big chunks of bark here flaking off. And when you see that, um, you know that that's a, there's a big problem here. Um, it's not all over the tree, it's just in certain sections. Now the next picture we're looking at is a classic example of sun scald. And this happens on thin bark trees in the wintertime when the sun will warm up that thin tissue and then at night of course it freezes and it goes through that freeze thaw, that cold warm type of cycle and that causes that bark to slough off. We also have a, an illustration here of the failure to remove the strapping material that we always talk about here on Backyard Farmer. Another couple of examples, this next photo shows um, a condition of black knot and it's this real warty growth that we see. It's a fungal disease that we see of cherry and any of the other stone fruits, whether they're bearing or not bearing. Um, the next slide shows some basal root rot decay, some heartwood decay rather. And when you see these big chunks of bark coming off and you can take a screwdriver or a piece of rebar and poke into it, or even a hammer and kind of tap on the trunk and you hear this hollow sound, you know that there's a problem. So those are some issues that yes, there is a problem with these and you may need additional help from an arborist or horticulturist to confirm that, but it's a good telltale sign in all those four cases. Coming back into the studio, I have a couple of other illustrations here that I just want to poke in your general direction. Uh, this is actually a piece of firewood or smoking wood in my case where we have an apple tree and you can see the bark coming off as a result of just drying it out to the point where we needed to burn it at some point. And when you see the bark like this all over the tree uh, sort of desiccating and flaking off, you know there's an issue there. Here's another example, and this is uh, something that the pathologists always talk about. This is a canker disease on peach. I actually got this sample from Jody Green. Um, and when you see a, a simple uh, oval football shaped pattern like this, and then a branch coming off of it that is dead, uh, you know there's a disruption of water and nutrients being able to flow in the particular uh, part of this particular branch. So a real problem here. Back to a few now uh, photos now. This next photo um, shows us a little bit about the bark itself. This is a Kentucky coffee tree, and all the way around it, we see flaking of the bark, not in just one particular section, but all the way around it. Uh, the next photo shows the same kind of thing with uh, the Seven Suns tree. Sun Seven Suns flower, sometimes people call it, but it's a small tree, great tree for the landscape. A lot of flaking or exfoliating bark, very normal for this particular tree. Uh, the next photo shows, uh, again, something that's very confusing, but this is called a burl. And a burl is a, a part of the tree that has started to form a, mal, a malformation, but it's not harmful to the tree. This, this is where you would want to take a photo of this, send it to the arborist or here at Backyard Farmer, and we can help you with this as well. One of my favorite trees is the next one, and that is the, the uh, bald cypress. Uh, it looks a little bit like the sen Seven Suns flower tree, uh, in that it has uh, this peeling bark that just the way the tree is uh, made by Mother Nature and God. It's just the way the tree developed. And then the final one I'm gonna show is sycamore. A lot of these are this way. Even as a young tree, as depicted here, you see this defoliating bark or exfoliating bark. The peeling bark is just the way it is in its natural state. So when you look at it, is my tree in trouble? It can be very confusing and it can be very, very hard to diagnose. But the thing that really take home is the overall symptoms. Is this all over the tree or just in one isolated part? And that kind of is your first clue. And then confirmation, sending photos to Backyard Farmer or contact an ISA certified arborist just to bring it home and know what you're gonna do to deal with it.